So, you see, like in this week's episode of Diamond No Ace, everyone was putting on their final adjustment to go to the semi final. And if they beat the semi final team, they went to the final. Now, Richie team, or Richie, as I call him, the batting monkey, or the baseball freak. It seemed like he was, his team was putting on the final adjustment to challenge the next team. Now, when I said every team, every team was having a field day. Because it seemed like the team that was going up against Sado was actually practicing slow pitch. When I said slow pitch, slow batting to counter Saramora pitching. Because they fear Saramora. It seemed like they, do, they, they didn't fear Fuya as much as Saramora. Because Fuya ball is just fast. But Saramora ball is just slow and un unorthodox. Now, because of that, they were training. Now, we went to Sado. It seemed like everybody was training too. The guy who taking data was giving Saramora and Fuya and telling them about their weakness. Saramora weakness is against left-handed batters. Now, the guy was telling him, if you overcome this, you're going you're gonna to have a more decent pitch. You're going to have less batting or less pitcher batting your ball. Because when you go up against left left batter, they're going to definitely hit your ball. Now, it was telling Fuya that don't regularly change up his pitches. Because the new pitch that he come up with wasn't all that good yet. So don't have confidence in it. Train it a little more. And it seemed like he go go to the next soft um saucepan. That guy was seriously down. Now, it seemed like Fuya and Sarmor was talking. But Milky have to come and be like a dick and tell them that Fuya is gonna pitch in the first game because he didn't want want the, those two rival to to um hang out together because if they hang out together he thought that they're gonna gang up on him. Now because that Sarmore was quite frustrated and Fuya finally, when I said finally, acknowledged Sarmore. Because when he acknowledged Sarmore, said he wasn't looking behind, behind him. He was looking forward. Because he was looking forward, he didn't see Sarmore as a rival. But now, when he was watching Sarmore, when he sprained, sprained his ankle, he finally acknowledged Sarmore as a rival. And I'm quite glad. This week's episode was nicely done. Next week's episode... Finally, the semi-final game is going to start. Now, thank you for watching. Hope to see you again. And I give this week's episode a 9 out of 10.